And joining us now on the WashU Sports Network is 2020 WashU grad, former men's basketball player, Devon Rucker. Devon, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Devon, how are, how are things going for you uh, upon your graduation from WashU? Um, it's going great, just settling um, into the next thing, getting stuff done for the overseas process, um, and just here at home, it's pretty good. Devon, you were recognized as one of the five student athletes honored at our 34th Annual Scholar Champion Awards celebration a few weeks back under the Department of Athletics mission of developing champions. Devon, the first question I have for you, can you talk about the importance of developing champions within the men's basketball team? Oh, for sure. I think the history um, just with the program is something that you really take into your own hands once you realize it's your last year. Um, I think transitioning from high school, you really want to, coming into a program, you want to like, build your skills and see how you'll play in it. But then realizing that it takes all of your effort, each person that you play with to achieve that victory is something that makes you really feel prideful of who you represent. And that goes back as far as Mark Evers, even for me, just when I got there, for the alumni um, before me. And so just really thinking about who you represent just kind of ties it all together. Devon, uh, on the court, um, I've, I've seen you most of your career playing basketball and also practicing the game, getting better. Um, you worked as hard as anybody as I've seen in my career. So what, what, why was it so important for you to always be your best for your team and your teammates? Um, even then, I would say that since I was like a freshman in high school, it was something that I always thought like, okay, I need to be the best at this. And basketball was one of those things. And it's just, I would work tirelessly. I would wake up super early in the morning to work out before school, I think at like 5 a.m. And then after that, so I practice same day and then stay later. And so it was something that's always just been a habit enforced by my parents and my brothers. Devon, looking back at your four years at WashU, what really made your student athletes experience so special? I would say going to war with a bunch of dudes that we all have a common interest and we learn by each other and those are some of the closest people that I have for years and just being able to grow in such an environment and travel, of course, is definitely a huge plus. But just meeting and experiencing so many different things that I wouldn't have thought to experience like 30 minutes from, which is literally down the street. Um, I think it's, I think it's really great. Well, Devon, now that you have officially graduated from WashU, what, what are your plans next? Tell, tell the fans what's up, what's next for Devon Rucker? What's next? What's next? Well, be a good a good father to a dog. Um, you know, it's like ten months old, it's a little baby, and then just get stronger and be a better player. Uh, I have to go back to playing outside, but that's really cool. I like playing outside, um, and then just prepare the best I can for the next level, the next thing to do. Devon, what are with your plans of uh, playing overseas? And I see the dog made an appearance. It's a smart <laughs> guy. He wants to. He wanted to get on screen a little bit. Yeah. When uh, when do you uh, officially head overseas to start grad school and your professional career? Um, the orientation is in early September, and so I'll go a few weeks before that just to get settled. Well, Devon, I wish you all the luck. Uh, and honestly, I really look forward to following your professional career. As, uh, and like I told you, you've worked extremely hard and you've earned this. And, uh, and I know all your uh, WashU fans uh, will also be looking forward to following how you do overseas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot.